There you go. Alright guys, so I just got a Gyroar hoverboard in the mail. I'm so excited to open it. I'm not even going to take it inside. We're going to do it out here. Plus the kids are in there playing video games, which always gets loud. What can I say? They're passionate. So let's go ahead and bust this thing open. Alright, all we need is a knife. A knife, and we are set. Level rock, mine. Woo! Oh, it's bubble wrap. It's so good. Where's the hoverboard? Found it. Look at this, a letter from Gyroar. It has a little bow on it. Congratulations on becoming a member of Gyroar family. Thank you for choosing our store among thousands of merchants. You're welcome. If you like our products, please share our products to your friends and family. Luke, I'm sharing with you. Thank you. Because the card said to. That was the worst hoverboard floss I've ever seen. Good news guys, I'm going three miles an hour. Four, 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 still four. <laughs> Mason, do you want to do a speed test? See how fast you can go? I got eight right now, I got to go to ten. Oh, oh I got nine, can see. But the one thing about hoverboards, sometimes they get a little tiring. All that standing, all that hovering. Sometimes you just want to sit down. Whoa, <laughs> uh, that goes pretty fast. Dang, good job, Mason. That looks pretty fun. Yeah. You like yeah. it? Mm-hmm. Okay, so why don't you explain to people how it works? How do you make it go? So, like, it's kind of hard to learn, but, like, you, you like, stop, and then, like, you let go like this, and then slowly give it gas. 
So how do you how do you give it gas? How do you make it go? Like you just you push down on like the this. handles. Yeah, I sometimes I do like this. Okay, so wait, hold on. So if you so if you want it to go, you push down on the handles, yeah. and if you want it to stop, you push down more. Yeah, and turning it is what no. If you want it to stop, then you like pull it up. Oh, you pull it up. Okay. What if you want it to turn? Then what do you do? Then you do this. Like that. Down one side and then up the other? I think this is left. Yeah, this is left, this uh -huh. is left and this is right. Nice. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of fun. Awesome. So thank you very much to Gyroar for hooking us up with this. It's a lot of fun. I think the kids are going to have some really good times on it. If you want one too, we'll put a link in the description. After you. One of the worst ways to die would be getting hit by a slow moving train like that one. Hey guys, thank you for not getting ran over by the train. gateway bike park first time since they renovated it this is all new so you can see it from the freeway we've seen it several times um we're just checking it out just wanted to see if it was dry enough to ride or not mason you got some air, man. You got like two or three feet of air on that one. Good job, bud. Dude, like, I was doing fine, and then the wind hit me, and it kept slowing me down. Oh, yeah? Yeah, this... Uh, this bull, actually, you really have to push it to maintain speed on that thing. Try it again. You really have to carry speed to clear these, it seems like. There you go. Mason, you Gucci? That's typical Mason. He usually just goes bigger and bigger, sends it harder until eventually he crashes. And then he's usually chill for the rest of the day and takes it easy. There's not a good rhythm to them. They're not really, they're not really the same. Yeah, like some are really small and then some are like twice as big and you never know. Huh? What's this kid doing? Get it, buddy. Woo! Yeah. It's the one and only DRE. Okay, so I found my favorite part of the park. It's going to be these wood ramps right here. It's a little advanced. I mean, we're not clearing it, but it's the most fun and i think if we play with these i think if we keep working on it we could probably get to the point where we're able to do the whole line eventually nice luke that was really good man you had total control you corrected the bike in the air that was good i'm gonna try one more one more yeah you want to you want to clear the whole thing yeah the pedal feels even looser yeah it is loose you want to do one more and then I'd call it good. I like this step down right here. There's this little step down double. It's really fun, but you don't want to like over jump it too much because you need to set up good for the next jump. He's not happy because they didn't clear it all the way, so. Uh, that was good. That was rad. What do you think? I feel like I could do more, but I don't want- You want to try my bike? Sure. Okay, you can try it on my bike. Okay. Just don't break it, Luke. 
Okay, Luke. I feel a thumbnail shot coming on. Let's do this. No, he's not used to that bike. <laughs> yeah, you did better I'm on yours. Okay. I don't have any tools on me. Luke's crank's coming loose, so he's gonna borrow my bike so that way his, his foot doesn't slide off right before he hits the lip. But this is cool, it's getting dark. We're gonna leave here in a minute, but I'm actually excited. I'm gonna come back here and work on these. I'm gonna try to get these down myself. I'm not worried about doing it in the video today. Luke's going big, he's pushing it, so I don't really care. I mean, as long as as long as long one of us is pushing it, in a video then then i'm cool with that i'm happy it's a good video then you're happy okay i think that's a good starting point for our first trip and we'll be back and we'll push it even harder Okay, turn off the TikToks for a second. Let's do a quick review. This place is new, so not a lot of people know about it. So let me get my review. It was ite. That's what I thought. I thought it was just ite. What do you think, Mason? I don't like it. You don't like it? <laughs> it was okay. I mean, there was a few fun jumps, but like most of the stuff was just really hard to catch a rhythm. Some of the jumps were like way too small and others uh -huh. were just way too big. So like it was a small one, so you couldn't get any speed off it. And then it was a big one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would agree with that. The slope jumps were okay. I guess I'm comparing it to Doothy. Like they weren't shaped as well as Doothy. Doothy, the jumps are shaped so good that you can't not clear them, you know what I'm saying? I thought some of the bowls were just too tight to, you had to slow down too much for them and they, they could have been sloped a little bit more. I think that would have helped. Holy crap, Mason. The pump track was also, I, I like that they have lots of different options of different ways you could go. Um, unfortunately, that meant that you had to keep an eye out for other people because you could do transfers at any time. So if there's a couple people on the pump track, then that kind of made it hard. I think our favorite part was the ramp jumps. So I think that'll be worth coming back and hitting those, getting comfortable on them, getting some big air. All in all, I think it was a good day though. I mean, nobody got hurt except for Mason. So it was all good.